behind me some big winners, some even bigger shutouts at the 56th annual award ceremony, including a snub for the heavily nominated Compton-based rapper Kendrick Lamar. His highly acclaimed debut album was expected to dominate the rap categories, but he didn't win one single trophy. Instead, the top honors went to the Seattle-based rap duo we were just talking about, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. The snub has the hip-hop world spinning. Even Macklemore tweeted about this. This is what he said on Twitter shortly after his win, quoting him, he deserved, being Kendrick Lamar, he deserved best rap album. I'm honored and completely blown. Uh, Macklemore also sent a text to Kendrick Lamar, even apologizing further, shared that on Instagram. This is what he said, quote, uh, you got robbed. I wanted you to win. You should have. It's weird and sucks that I robbed you. I was going to say that during the speech. Then the music started playing during my speech, and I froze anyway. You know what it is. Um, and then that really is the question, the hours following, the what is it that has this the, the rap community in a firestorm about Macklemore's win today? Joining me now is CNN political commentator Mark Lamont Hill. Talking to you because you also wrote a book called Beats, Rhymes, and Classroom Life, Hip-Hop, Pedagogy, and the Politics of Identity. So Mark Lamont Hill, uh, I know you've been all at Twitter on this one. Why do you think, when you read these the, the, this back and forth with uh, Macklemore and, and Kendrick Lamar, why do you think he felt guilty that he won? Well, because first of all, he knew he didn't have the best rap album of the year. Uh, whether you like uh, Macklemore or not, and I think Macklemore is just fine and a great artist and made a great album uh, that should have won some awards, uh, he certainly didn't make the best rap album. Kendrick Lamar not only had the best rap album of the year, but really one of the great uh, rap debut albums in, in the history of the genre. So it, it's sort of stunning that he didn't win. At the same time, it's not entirely surprising because in some ways last night, the Grammys reenacted a very old American ritual of white artists appropriating and taking credit for the creations of black artists. Now that's not- Give me another example. You're, you're saying in addition to Macklemore and Ryan Lewis? Well, let's look, at who, let's look at who's won the, the award in the last 15 years. I think Eminem's won it either three or four times. Drake won it uh, last year. Yeah, Drake, Drake did win it last year. Uh, but, you know, Out, Outkast, again, excuse me, Outkast has won it, Dr uh, Drake's won it. Several people have won it other than uh, white artists. But it's interesting to see how white artists are overrepresented on the Grammy award list relative to how many uh, artists there are in the mainstream hip-hop world. But this is bigger than Macklemore. Let me be clear. I'm not mad at Macklemore. Macklemore didn't do anything wrong. He didn't even really need to apologize. It's not his fault that the Grammys, uh, Grammy Award uh, uh, people are stupid. Uh, oh. it's, it's simply, he just, he do, just do, you, do, you think, do you think he even belongs in the category? It's a tough conversation. I mean, on some level, yes. I don't like to police the boundaries of rap or hip-hop such that I say you're not a rapper, you're a rapper, because that can get really tricky. Yeah. Yes, Macklemore is a rapper. Yes, he makes rap music. Does he make good rap music? That's debatable. But what's interesting here is that we see the, him, we see the Eminemification of this. We see it with Elvis. We see it with Justin Timberlake. Yeah, that's a word. I just made it up right on national television. Uh -huh. we, got, we, we got Elvis. I mean, there's a whole tradition of this in almost every genre of black music. We see it in blues, we see it in jazz, we see it in rock. And so it's a bit frustrating. And for the same reason that we get frustrated when Elvis is called the king of rock and roll, when there are people like Little Richard and Chuck Berry, you know, feeling uh, unrewarded, there's now a Macklemore who's the rap artist of the year or made the rap album of the year when Kendrick had one of the best artistic me, creations of the generation. Let me jump in because I was reading this Time Magazine article just to, to broaden the conversation out. To your point, this isn't just about Macklemore. No African-American artist had a number one hit on the Billboard Top 100 chart all of 2013. No, no Jay-Z, no Beyonce, no, no Kanye. Ten years ago, um, you know, many had had top hits. And I'm just wondering why. Well, I think there are a lot of reasons. One, I, I think the genre has bent a little bit, so uh, oftentimes uh, artists who would have been making number one uh, rap art albums or rap songs are making different types of songs. They're experimenting and playing. You see Pharrell, who was deeply steeped in the hip-hop genre last night, being... He was all uh, over. Right, and, and for stuff with Daft Punk and other artists who aren't traditional hip-hop artists. You saw, you saw Timbaland, who back in the day was making primarily hip-hop stuff. He also embraced a jumper, Justin Timberlake and, and Jay-Z in Clark, a different kind Rock. of way. Yeah, exactly. So I think part of it is the genre is bending. I mean, and I think that's cool. I think it ebbs and flows. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next uh, two years you see Lil Wayne come back with a number one album and a number one song. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Drake come with a number one song. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw Eminem on his next album come with a number one song. That, that's all entirely possible. I'm cool with that. What I'm not cool with is when people take over a genre, liquidate all of his resources and assets, get all the credit, and then we end up having a, a reductive conversation about Macklemore, whether he should feel guilty or whether he's good or bad. Macklemore is not the problem. It's an industry that doesn't reward black genius. Hmm. Anonymification. I'm taking that, that's that the word of the day.